hi guys welcome to my channel i am manifest cio and here i talk everything entertainment review movies i react to movies and trending debates across the globe so this video is a review and i'm going to be reviewing a netflix special this movie is one that i actually don't understand why we are not screaming it this is a movie that i feel like everybody needs to talk about now the movie is one that features gabriella folayon and i think i have now accepted the fact that i'm partial to gabriella folayon because that man brings his a game all the time i'm talking about the movie for maria ebon pataki Yes, that's the movie. The movie is directed by Damilola Orimogunje. Oh, yeah. Did I pronounce your name well? I hope I did. And it's a story written by Tun Ray Femi. Features Meg Otanwa, Gabriela Folayon, Tina Mba, Judith Audu, Demi Banwo, among others. And it's actually a movie that is quite emotional. It borders around depression, suicide, and things like that. Let me just tell you what the movie is supposed to be about. I'm actually reading this out, if you've not noticed. Well, after a complicated delivery, a mother struggles with postpartum depression and begins to withdraw from her family and the world around her. Now, let me start by saying the things I do appreciate about this movie. Then I move to the things I don't like about the movie. Now, this is not just a review of Maria for Maria Bumpataki, but it is also a reaction to the movie. I like all the cast members <laughs> from Gabriela for Lion to Tinaumba is that woman that when I see her in a movie, I'm just excited. I'm just like, yes, I expect delivery from Tina Umba. Either she's been the good mother or she's been the, you know, rich, saucy person. And this place, she plays the role of grandma very well. She was Gabriela Falayo's mother. And there were some scenes, I will get to that. There were some scenes where Tina Umba did some things. And I'm just like, this is really beautiful. So all the cast members did beautifully well. Um, Meg, the female character, the lead um, lead female character, she played the role of Darren Sola in that movie. Actually, said she had to, you know, gain weight to shoot a particular scene. I'll get to that scene too. She had to gain weight in order to shoot a particular scene, one of the opening scenes in the movie. Right now, aside from the crew member, cast members, another thing I like about that movie is the progression of the story from the opening scene to the end of the movie you are actually going to be captivated spoiler alert though the movie ended in a way that i was like hey have we ended this movie oh my god why did you have to end this movie in so much sadness and you had to actually read and see between the lines to actually understand what happened now something else that i like about this movie aside from the cast members like i've said the progression of the movie I'm going to now talk about something that actually prompted me to do this video and that is some scenes in this movie that actually spoke to me that I really did enjoy right and I'm going to start from Tina Umba's grandma character I already spoke about it she was the grandma in that movie and when she the, the, there was a scene where she made food for Adenwin Sola and she, the lady didn't want to eat the food um, that part she didn't say nothing but there was now another scene where during Sola wanted to feed a baby she couldn't feed the child and things like that and Tina Umba was like well Abiyamo yeah, that is what they call Abiyamo that is why you are a mother this is what a mother is supposed to be I felt that scene because I felt that scene because typically in a Nigeria or in an African household in a Yoruba household those are the kind of things you would hear your mother say to you especially a woman that has had to go through childbearing she didn't have the kind of um when our mothers were actually giving birth themselves when they were of childbearing age and they were giving birth they did not have someone to speak to them concerning the things you can experience postpartum right and the things they heard were the things the naumba was telling adere Sola in that movie the old obirinia abiyamonia you have to have like a mother that is what it means you have to eat regardless of what you're feeling because of your child you know the lady couldn't the, the, the baby maria couldn't even latch properly and when she latched she wasn't you know taking milk and a lot of things and Tina Umba that scene especially just really broke me it broke me and that was one of the powerful scenes in that movie another scene in that movie that 
that actually did a lot to my soul will be when Darren finally had a discussion with her husband, Gabriela Folayon. Ah, goodness gracious, that was quite powerful, you know. Gabriel felt like, probably because of the way she lost blood, you know, they had to do operation to get the baby out of her, surgery. And um, Gabriel Lafalayon thought that she was being like that because of what has happened and all of those things. But then when she finally got the courage to actually speak to her husband concerning the things that happened to her and how she wanted to have four kids. And now that she's had one, she realized that she actually does not want to have a child at all because she feels nothing for the one she already has. And she's quite relieved that they actually had to take out her uterus. Uh, my mom, my mom actually told me that if not because of the way we have been made and wired as humans that we kind of forget some emotions or some feelings as you know the years go by almost every woman after giving birth to the first child will actually leave her husband's house you will not say i don't want to marry again or you not say i don't want to give birth again and stay you will actually leave the man like never ever will you i would not even want you to put me in this kind of position ever you would leave the man's house right and so for maria to say to actually be able to communicate and tell her husband how she felt and Gabriel Afolanyo's reaction to that in that scene was quite powerful for me. Um, all of Gabriel Afolanyo's role, all of the scenes they appeared in in that movie actually was beautiful and phenomenal. Every scene that carried Gabriel Afolanyo that I had to deliver a line from the beginning also. I'm serious, the beginning of the movie was so beautiful to see the progression from the hospital, you know, to Naomba coming home and praying for the child. Something you would expect from an African household. They didn't try to bougie up our tradition, our culture, like some Nollywood movies have been doing. And I loved that again about the movie. Now, the final scene for me that was beautiful to see and quite powerful was when Aderi Sola could, at, uh, Aderi Sola actually went to the hospital, spoke with the doctor to say, there is something wrong with my child. This, this baby cries too much, right? And... The doctor was like, there's nothing wrong. You just have to deal with it. So she took the baby out, went to the supermarket, she went to eat. Now at the supermarket, typical African auntie situation happened. The baby, the one woman was like, oh, your baby is crying because she's purging, because she's teething. You know, give the baby herbs. The, the, the baby will stop purging and the baby will stop crying. Mind your business. And I love how I did so I didn't utter one word while the woman just kept talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. Saying everything she needed to say. So yeah, that scene actually very, was very beautiful. I was just like, yes, <laughs> go to it, Sola. I understand that our mental health wasn't very beautiful at that point, but actually that's how I would have reacted. Now moving on from the scenes that I actually loved about the movie, that I loved in the movie, let's talk about some other things, some other criteria in the movie that I actually love, and that will be attention to details, guys. The way. For Maria Ebung Pataki, paid so much attention to detail was beautiful. You know, I said that Darren, um, Darren Solas, the person that played Darren Solas, Darren Solas, Meg, kudos to her, by the way, actually gained weight. She said when she got the script and the, the, the director was like, um, maybe we'll do use prosthetics for the, that scene where she bared her body. And she was like, no, don't worry. I'm actually going to add weight for this role. And she did it. You know, the attention to detail, when she was losing her hair, when she was losing hair, you know, and she was coming in and her husband came into the toilet to see her and he's like it's just here to grow the attention to details there we could see the food situation when um Tinaumba was in the this thing with her was in that workshop because she, she was a tailor in that movie and she was spraying water the attention to detail there the old nepa taking light there's a lot of attention to detail and as much as possible they tried to depict a traditional yoruba family traditional um cultural Yoruba family, you get what I'm trying to say. When this man told his mom to leave, that is when his wife came to tell him that Tina had to go and the woman was leaving. The, the connection between both of them, father and mother and son, was beautiful. And yes, that is something else I love about that movie the connection between all of the cast members, the connection between the person that played. Um, Fola, that is Gabriel's character, the person that played Fola's older brother, AY, was beautiful. You could see the sibling dynamics between them. The relationship between husband and wife, Fola and Jeremy Sola, was actually very beautiful. There was no awkwardness. They looked like people who've been together for 
a while the friendship between them before the baby came when she was talking to her husband and telling her husband the things she felt it was nice when <laughs> i feel like i've told you guys all of the movie just see for maria Ebonkwatakido. it is a movie that i'm going to recommend to anybody to actually see either you think you're going to cry actually i thought i was going to shed tears because when i started seeing the movie i felt oh this is this is a very sad movie i would cry i didn't cry i instead i was just so much into the development of the character i was so much into the story the plot the continuity honestly i have a lot of things i like about this movie which is quite beautiful now what is that thing that i do not like about the movie <laughs> uh, guys i don't think i i will say anything about that because the good of in this movie actually outweighs the the whatever thing i might want to say went wrong with the movie and i'm trying as much as possible this is not me trying to criticize this movie this is me just reacting to this movie and reviewing um Ebun Pataki. maria for maria Ebun Pataki. that's what the movie is called another plus in this movie is the fact that we were not overwhelmed with cast members some producers can actually take a hint from this we don't need to have all a list actors in a movie a list b list c list actors we don't need to have a movie poster with several actors you know that's not what is going to sell we need the story to sell the movie for maria ebon pataki is a movie that has constantly been in the top 10 trending in nigeria since it got released on netflix honestly it has been there continuously for weeks the story is what is selling itself they didn't have to do a lot of promotion for this movie the movie is just selling we did not have a lot of characters we did not have scenes where we are just waiting for this character to finish talking so the next person would do call and response we didn't have that in that in this movie and that's another thing i love <sighs> I'm hyping this movie a lot, right? You would say that. But really, I do. I did enjoy the movie. I did enjoy the movie. And it wasn't overly long, you know? It wasn't even up to two hours. So it's very succinct, very sharp, very straight to the point, very beautiful, very soul-searching. When they even diagnosed Demi Sola, everything in that, about that movie was actually good. So I'm going to talk about what I did not like about the movie. But if you're wondering if you should see for Maria Ebon Pataki that is streaming on Netflix, honestly, I would say yes, give it a go see for maria ebon pataki and let me know what you think about it if you've seen the movie and you don't agree with what i've said let me know in the comment section but if you do agree with everything that i've said also let me know in the comment section i will be waiting for you having said all of those things guys i'm going to be ending the video here and i'm going to be recommending the movie for maria ebon pataki for you guys to see kudos to the cast members to the crew members the writers the producers you know everybody did amazing pre-production production post-production you guys from me to you anyways guys uh, subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do that and also click on the bell icon that will notify you when i have new videos like this video if you enjoyed it and share with family and friends it's totally free to do that thank you very much guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next one ciao